Right, now we've identified the tonic or root notes the, uh, the different chords that we're going to be playing over within the key of A minor, within the A minor pentatonic scale. Let's have a look at the first phrase. So if you look at the uh, worksheet, it's a 12-8 blues uh, that we're going to be playing over. 12-8 means the timing for the song has 12 eight notes or 12 quavers per bar. And usually that will be counted with uh, sort of a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three sort of feel. But, uh, looking at our more technical side of things, the string bending, um, the first phrase sounds like this. Now as you can see with my, my left hand, my thumb is between the first and the second fret. So just up by that sort of first fret here. And my first finger is on the second string first fret, covering that. And my third finger is near the third fret of the second string. Now my second finger is also sort of in a resting position near the string as well. Now whenever we do a string bend, especially if we're... Uh, We've got a we're sort of down here at the, the near the, the open and the first, second, third frets. They're quite tight, the strings down there. As we move further up the neck, they seem to be a little looser. So when we're playing down at this part of the neck, we need to be bending with three fingers. I see lots of students trying to bend the strings with just one finger, and it doesn't really work. So let's have a little look at how we can bend the string using three fingers. So this first phrase starts with your third finger on string two, fret three, and then in order to bend the string effectively, we're gonna employ our first and second fingers as well on the same string. So I'm placing the three fingers on the strings on fret one, two, and three. So finger one, two, three on fret one, two, three. My thumb is kept high. So what I don't want to do is have the thumb in the back of the neck. So make sure that the thumb is kept high. Next, I want to get the feeling of pushing the string up with my fingers, with the pressure mainly on my third finger on the tip there. I want to try and make sure as well that the tip of my third finger is right up against that third fret. What I don't want to do is to pick the string and the string not ring out all the way up when I'm bending the string. As you can see that I'm pushing with my third finger and I'm supporting it with pushing with my second and my first finger as well. So this takes a bit of practice to get used to getting the string to ring out, continuing to ring as you bend the string. Now the other aspect of this is the pitch of the note. Now we come across uh, different types of bends. We might have a full bend, a half bend, or a quarter bend. And the idea behind a full bend is that this note, say the note that I'm playing on the third string, sorry, the second string, third fret, this note, D, I wanna bend that note until it sounds like the note two frets higher. That note, E, so D, is being bent until it sounds like the note E. So the pitch of the note is really crucial here. Otherwise it can sound sour or out of tune and it, it just sounds horrible. So do your best when you're practicing this string bend to listen to the pitch of the note as well as trying to get the note to continue to ring as you bend the string. Okay, so now let's have a look at uh, how we're gonna bend the string and release the string. So next, bending the string, what we don't want to do, at the moment anyway, is to bend the string and release the string, allowing it to continue to ring out as we bend. What I'm aiming for is a clean bend, and then I want to stop the note ringing out at the top of the bend by placing my pick back on the string, 
and then we'll allow the string to return to its resting position quietly and then we'll re-pick the string once it's back at its resting position. So it should sound, the sort of sound that I'm after should sound like this. So I want two definite notes, the note bending, releasing quietly and then being re-picked once it's back in its resting position. The, the silence when I place the pick back on the string then I quietly keeping the pick on the string allow the string to come back to a resting position and I'm fretting still fretting the third fret on the second string and then I re-pick the note so bend the string mute the string with the pick release it and really try and get good at understanding the pitch of the bend, making it bend nice and smoothly, muting the bend at the top and releasing it quietly and then re-picking the note.